Removing these logs and forest is like, dude, that was a big ass spider. And, I, and I'm like, where ain't no spiders? And I grab a log, I just jump like a little girl, man. I don't know, for Michigan? Damn. Tell me to grab it? Fuck you, that thing will bite the shit out of you. It's not a brown recluse, and it's not a black widow. It's a funnel spider, dude. That looks like no, it has some serious, spider. man. That's a tarantula, dog. I wouldn't. It's very fast, so I wouldn't. Watch out for this stuff, dude. Too. I jumped like a little Rest bitch. Yeah, no, same here. But that's because when I reached down to grab oh my, my log, God. I put my hand like right here, and then you know, I'm like, I yeah, saw I thought it, you were I over it. Skinner, and I mean, this thing was like this. this I thought you were around. overreacting, no, and then I jumped, dude. Oh, <laughs> you're picking it up. I mean, I would let it run around on me. That thing is a... I don't know, I don't know what kind of temperament that thing has. That's like a real fucking spider. <laughs> that is like a real, that is something that I would like piss my pants if I found on me while I like, if it crawled on me while I was laying in bed. That I would freak out about and burn the house down. For Michigan. Yeah, for Michigan especially. I mean, this isn't like Australia. Damn. Pick up the spider. Oh, ah, there you go. <laughs> you jump like a little dude, girl. Thing, Pick it up again, dude. You see how fast that thing is? It went on my arm. Pick it up again. <laughs> that thing is. That's one hell of a creature. I don't think we have to kill it or anything. Yeah. It's just that little one in the back. <laughs> there we go. No, so, that's a still uh, combi cam uh, cam 130 with the extension. And then uh, well, I'm charging these is yeah, uh, 75 bucks each per swap shrub. But look how big the shrubs are, right? When you first get started, you're gonna be like, oh, I'll do them for, for 30 bucks a piece. <laughs> right? You'll be like, I mean, look how big these shrubs are, bro. Look how big these shrubs are. They're gonna be like, yeah, I'll do them for, I'll do them for, uh, for 25 bucks a piece. No, 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 no. Last time I did them, they were, I don't want people to hear me. Last time I did them, they were 60 bucks a piece. And this time I'm like, dude, I can't do them for under 75 a piece. So it's, restaurants to do all the landscaping and the windows. But the restaurant owners are a different breed, bro. <laughs> Definitely a different breed. Let's go outside. Get all the screen first. Here's a great story for you. Forrest just rear-ended an off-duty cop in my truck. Yes, let me tell you the story. And I'm smiling now, but I wasn't smiling about a half an hour ago. So I got the guys working on a job site. I'm in a meeting in my truck doing a quote. <clears throat> Forrest has got like this horrible pain in his back and he can't breathe. He's like, dude, I gotta get off this job site. I gotta go to a clinic. I'm like, whoa, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm like, well, go drop off the truck and trailer, get your truck and go. He's like, no, no, I gotta go now. I'm like, okay, so, so he's got, he's probably got like a muscle spasm in his back. I'm not a doctor, I don't know. I know it's hot and he does a lot of power lifting in the gym. His back's been hurting. So 
Either way, what it is, I'm not going to say I don't believe him because I could tell his back was in some, he's in some serious pain. So <clears throat> I got to leave my meeting to fly and meet him real quick at home. And he pulls up all frantic. And the other guy who works for me is nowhere to be found. Al. I'm like, where's Al? He's like, dude, I just ran into a, I just rear-ended a cop. And Al took off running. And I'm like, you just fled the scene of an accident, bro? He's like, no, I gave him my driver's license number. And I let, I'm like, no, dude, what? So here comes cops swarming around my house. And they get out and they put Forrest up against, you know, the car. And they're giving him breathalyzer tests, threatening to accuse, you know, penalize him for fleeing the scene of an accident, which is like a felony or something. It's really bad. And now I got my truck. He said my brake pedal went to the floor and my reservoir is full got new brake pads on there and I did feel my brakes and they were really loose and weak. I don't know what's going on with my brakes and I told the cop, I said, listen, my brakes were fully functional. I don't know what happened. Maybe a brake line blew, but I will not move the vehicle. Like I was being very cordial and very uh, cooperative until I get a mechanic on it right away and turned out to be an off-duty cop in a van, in his personal van, just got off work or whatever. And the back of his bumper was all scratched up and had a crack in it. So luckily, he only hit him at a few miles per hour and couldn't stop instead of all out smashing into him, which would have been, you know, really, really bad. So cops come, they're taking my insurance, my insurance information, they write him a ticket and they're harassing him. You know, I'm like, oh my God, dude, you know, anxiety, you think you're going down and all this bad stuff's gonna happen. And so basically I made a deal with the cop. Uh, I'm gonna pay, <laughs> I'm gonna pay his uh, deductible and just wipe it and he can get his car fixed i'll pay for the deductible cash i'll meet him and give him a check or whatever and uh forrest get a ticket if uh if he, i talked to the cop he said he's not even going to show up so if it gets waived great because i think it's just going to get waived they wrote it up so man i'm stressed out real bad right now i'm supposed to leave for up north in michigan we call it going up north it's like a little vacation out in the woods you know with the wife and Okay, cool, because now I got a job site half finished. But I'm so thankful and so grateful that it could have been it could have been worse, man. So I'll probably pay for his ticket because it was my truck that the brakes went to the floor. And he'll learn a lesson not to flee the scene of an accident. Man, so that's all the crazy stressful stuff I used to see my bosses go through when, when I was an employee working for a landscape company. I wonder why my bosses were always stressed out with bags under their eyes. Because you never know what's going to happen one second to the next, you know? There's a bunch of stuff I can not going to even tell you right now. I could make a whole YouTube chapter of just crazy, stupid stories of unbelievable, weird, hokey-pokey stuff that happens that just doesn't happen. You know what I'm saying? Man, alright. I have to leave one of these trailers on a job site. I should just go get that new truck, dude. And I have to worry about these trucks breaking down and blown brake lines. Look at the blown brake line on a truck just cost me probably $400. And court fees and fines. I don't know what to do. Love it. I don't know, man. I'm sick and tired of my truck breaking down. So here I am looking at these Silverados. And now you're going back and forth, 4GM, 4GM, four four Ram, 4GM. I don't know. The, I mean, the Fords look really, really fancy, they do. But I trust the drivetrain of a Chevy truck. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, man, I thought you were on the phone. I was like, she's talking I am on the phone, I'm talking to the internet. Ah. I'm starting a fire on YouTube right now. Man. Man, oh man. What's the one I was looking at? I mean, I like them all. I don't care. It's something that drives good. I don't really want a new truck. I don't want a truck payment. But when I'm spending every damn month fixing my F-150 and the stress and anxiety of dealing with not knowing when the thing's going to break down, I can't take it anymore. It's driving me nuts. What's this? 24 grand? This one's nice. That's in my price range, 24 grand. That's nice, a Sierra, four by four V8. And we got, uh, what was the other one? It's nice. 
Look at this little tiny Colorado. Ooh, what's this? The brand, these are the new ones, the 14. Not brand new, but still. Yeah, man.